Hello guys, and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure Commentary. We're now starting up on the next story in the game, uh, Amy's Playthrough. It's my turn now. now this is generally the point of the game where uh, people start to... Uh, people normally stop because these are considered... These next three uh, stories are considered the, uh, the worst of the three, although I actually only consider two of them to be... I consider one of them to be bland and just kind of bland. One's mediocre, but I actually think the, the final story we'll be playing is actually uh, quite fun, and actually I think it was a good uh, idea that just wasn't used to a full potential. But in terms of Amy's story, I consider it just kind of there. You'll see more as soon as... You'll, see, you'll understand more as soon as we get farther in, but... For now, we got some story here. Now this is supposed to be a reference to Sonic CD, and they made these nice unique areas for that flashback scene, but they didn't change Amy's model or Sonic's to fit fit the actual time frame of the story there, so I always thought that was kind of uh, lazy, but what are you going to do? At least they actually made different backgrounds and didn't do something like the Sonic flashback, um, or the, the Tails flashback earlier where the Sonic was running through the Mystic Ruins. Nobody and he had his uh, gem bracelets and everything. <laughs> Actually, I think he had that in there, too. That orange clip through the side of the bag. Ooh, it's that scene from the intro. Admittedly, this CG did look... I guess looks okay for 2000 standards. Still think Final Fantasy like 8 and 9 look better, but... What are you gonna do? <laughs> It's Sega, after all. Eggman, can it be? What? what makes you think it's Eggman? And we got a uh, object heading towards Amy. Oh, clocked her in the head. <laughs> and that's how the bird got with her. How is that bird carrying that, anyways? Oh, hi, random robot. What are you doing there? What's this? I like how it just goes by her here, even though she clearly has the bird. You know, if you if you know, Amy, if you probably just stood there, it probably wouldn't even have followed you. Oh no, where has she gone? Oh well. <laughs> that was one of Eggman's robots, huh? Who else has robots around here? And somehow you got away, right? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Okay then, Amy. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way! So we're not gonna, like, inform, like, the police or anything about the, uh, giant robot. And I'm gonna take this with me. Uh, actually... That looks kinda wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but basically, Amy's gameplay is, she runs around, uh, she doesn't have a... Her jump isn't a, like, spin jump, like Sonic's or... Or Knuckles or Tails, but she has a hammer. And she can't do the hammer jump, which is pretty fun. But anyways, to continue on with plot, you must go through this door here. Uh, Amy is... She's not like super slow... By any means, like she'll be later in the series, but um, she's... Compared to Sonic, she's relatively slow. Speaking of Sonic... And she's slowly approaching him. Long time no see. <laughs> I want one of the. I gotta look up a counter of how many times they say "long time no see" in the entire series. Probably massive. Why does the bird need a bodyguard? <laughs> Just a bird. No 
way. <laughs> he can outrun you, Amy. In this game, anyways. He's showing off here. He's literally running along the sidewalk just to show off how much faster he is. Well, anyways, we don't have time for that. No trains are currently in service. Uh, the hammer is actually kind of is a pretty fun uh, mechanic because you can do some pretty cool like jumps and stuff. I don't think Amy's story is terrible. It's just bland. And it's a little, sh it's short, to be perfectly honest. Anyways, you want to go over here next? There's Sonic. Wait up, Sonic. Why is he just waiting there, though? That's what I'm wondering. Her, her, oh, oh, my face is like really freaking weird. How did she get over there? She was up. <laughs> Her mouth animations are... Ironically, Amy has the best ones in the game, ironically, but they're so odd. It doesn't say anything. <laughs> it's just a white screen. Sonic just wants to go run somewhere. I give up. She's so weird. In the uh, DX version, the scene with Sonic running into the thing there, he actually just slides across the ground. <laughs> I, I guess because of the way the mo they redid the models in that game, but um... Anyway, here's uh, Amy's first stage, Twinkle Park. Now, Amy's missions are actually... Basically, it's, they're basically plat just straight up plat platforming, but you also have to avoid a zero. That's the name name of that robot right there, by the way. And he is... He works kind of interesting. You can hit him with the hammer to stun him, but it only works twice. Then he becomes invincible. He's not hard to evade, though, by any means, because he always has to stop to attack like that. Well, slow down to attack. See, you can hit him, you hit him like that, it'll stun him. Fortunately, it only works twice, so be careful with that. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm being kind of a dipshit here. I missed, I missed the second button. No, not in the water, Amy. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be perfectly honest. I think I thought there was a button in the pool. That's why I was looking for it, but no, I missed the one that was over there. Uh, one of the, the things that kind of sucks about the hammer is you have to stop to use it. Like, it, you, you stop in place. If you don't stop, then you do the hammer jump. Like that. But I like doing the hammer jump anyway, so I'm not going to super complain. It's nowhere near as bad as it will be in, like, Sonic 06 later on. Now this is new, a new section of the Twinkle Park. This is the mirror section, and the song that plays here is freaking creepy. Okay, this is the a mirror, the mirror section that kind of screws up your uh, camera a bit because you see you're seeing multiple Amy's here. Just pay attention to the way it shifts and which one you are. Like that wasn't too bad. I believe there is a second one though that messes up your uh, orientation a bit more. I do like the- yeah, here it is. This one is the confusing one. It's not too hard, you just gotta kinda pay attention to which one you are. <laughs> and she goes so slow uphill. Okay, uh, careful around here because there are trap doors. You can tell by the uh, the back. If you look in the mirror, you can see black like openings. That's where the trap doors are. So just be careful with those. <laughs> and I clipped through that spike ball like a boss. Yeah, this music track, though, if you listen really close to the background, there's like a random baby laughing, and it's just like, why? 
Anyways, back to the awesome music. And now it's time for Metal Gear Amy. <laughs> I don't even think you need to hide in the drum here. <laughs> no, you don't. You just can. That drum clipped through those barrels. And I somehow missed those. That is awesome. Problem is, Amy can't go up hills for shit. How did you get in front of me? What the hell? Well, anyways, uh, this is how you end a the Amy levels. I walk. The balloon's back there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the balloon is back there. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the balloon's... Past me is being an idiot right now. The balloon is right there. What are you doing? <sighs> I facepalm so hard when I was recording this and realized. I'm only leaving this in because it's embarrassing. I want to. I want to let you guys watch me suffer. <laughs> well, be. I want to let you guys watch me be a moron for a few minutes. There's the balloon. You just want to test me. Get the balloon. It's right there. What are you doing? There we go. You end the levels by grabbing balloons. Like that. Yeah, that was embarrassing. I'm, I'm not gonna hide that. Problem with Amy's levels are they are pathetically short. Unfortunately. Amy's, Amy's story is very much cutscene. Not so much gameplay. So her story is actually going to be done relatively quickly. Welcome to Twinkle Park. And then we get to everyone's favorite character, but we'll we'll save that for later. Anyways, we're done here for now. Sonic must be uh, riding the roller coaster. Actually, no, Sonic's in the bumper cars right now. She's walking in play. No, Sonic's riding bo gum bumper cars and go karts. Did it get dark out? They didn't show us grabbing her because that would have been too hard to animate. Was he gonna take the train? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about that at all. He's taking the train! Oh no no, he's not even taking the train, he's just going down the train tube. Still, that's still ridiculous though. <laughs> no one's calling the cops about that? That, you know, a giant green robot carrying around a small pink hedgehog? Actually then again, that's weird in like many ways. Anyways, back here. I think they would have taken the bird when they put her in the cell. Oh, hi, Gamma. Where are you going? <laughs> Your cell's over there. <laughs> not, not that way. But anyways, yeah, it's this scene again, only from uh, Amy's point of view. Although it's pretty similar. Nope. She told you. Quietly hand over the bird. No, never. Why not? I don't need to tell you anything. You tell me why you want it now. Does not compute. You don't even know? Well, he's a robot. He was programmed. Why is he backing away from her? She's behind bars. And now he's malfunctioning. No, this scene explains why, why Amy knows the robot. I don't. He's just a robot. 
Oh, okay, bird. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Come on, Gamma, shoot the bird. <laughs> I love those generic, like, stock, uh, robot sounds. Go, escape. Why are you shocked? Just go with it. <laughs> I pushed the button. Why are you questioning this? Just go! He's letting you escape. It's dangerous here. Hurry, we'll be at the Mystic Ruins base soon. You're really nice! You're different from the other robots! Why well, you broke his programming. <laughs> With all your moral values. Yeah, I mean, you should probably get out of here now. I think you can go back and talk to him if you want, but I don't think he says anything interesting. This awesome game. <laughs> I love that line. He must suck though, because he only got 2,000 points. Actually, this game's hard. <laughs> at least it is for me. I suck at this game. Basically, what you want to do is you want to hit the, su the Sonics and Supersonics. Don't hit the Eggmans, because you will lose points for that. Uh, you want to get the Supersonics, because they give you a, early, a, bigger, a big point bonus. I suck. <laughs> now why are we doing this? Uh, you actually get an item. Like a power-up. I just don't like the way this... You have to get lucky with this game. Because her hammer... It... I don't think her hammer reaches far enough. Which is ironic when you consider one of the items you're supposed to get in this. Yeah, I screwed up here too. Okay, third time's a charm. Yeah, I will not. I I, I will not be getting the second item in this game because I am terrible at this game. It's not even worth it to be honest for the amount of uh gameplay Amy actually has. But what basically what you get here is you get two items. One of them is called the Rhythm Badge, and it essentially lets you do a spin attack. Which sounds useful, but it's it's in reality really not. Cool. <laughs> I did it. But yeah, the spinning neck isn't that useful. The second item you get is called the long hammer. It's essentially a longer hammer. Uh, it it's nice, it gives you more range, but it, to, to get it, it's a pain in the ass. So I'm not even gonna bother. Well, not that I'm not gonna bother. I, I just can't do it. feather. <laughs> now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. So now she gets a pretty feather. <laughs> But anyways, what it does is, you basically hold down the... Uh, or, okay, I guess I'm going to attempt to go for it, but I fail, miserably. <laughs> yeah, the Super Sonics give you 500 points, the uh, regular Sonics just give you 100. But anyways, all all the all the feather does is it essentially just gives you a spin attack. That's not very useful. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all next time in the uh, Amy playthrough. Until then, guys, I'll see you later.